So uh, thank you for the work you're doing, and I appreciate the opportunity to be here and talk about one piece of economic development. And uh, I'm really here representing half of the Regional Air Alliance staff. Uh, uh, there are the Dan Wiersma is here. He's the other half. We are a highly bureaucratic organization. Uh, there, uh, that's, that's it, and frankly, I'll tell you right now, our goal is to go out of business. Uh, we, want to, we, want to do, we want to have done our job, and we want to be done. And uh, what I'd like to share with you is the work that we've been able to achieve in the past couple of years, and why this is important to, to Holland, why this is important to the West Michigan community, I believe. And uh, our goal is, to set, up, is to, to set up a framework where this becomes part of that perpetual virtual cycle uh, where a competitive environment drives continued progress and, and we start off the right way. As we'll see, we headed the wrong way for some years. Uh, we think we've got that turned around. Does this matter? Does it, does it matter to, to Holland? Uh, a recent Grand Rapids Business Journal article titled, Holland Hotel Business Jumped in 2011. And I quote the article, it said, quote, uh, Sally uh, uh, Lakaitis, I don't know if I got your name right, Sally, it doesn't sound Dutch to me, so I probably can't <laughs> pronounce it correctly. It doesn't have enough vowels in it. Um, we haven't seen hotel occupancy rates at this level since 2000, and back then we had 450 fewer rooms available, uh, and uh, the Holland Area Chamber, or excuse me, Holland Area Convention and Visitors Bureau. Occupancy rates rose in 10 of the 12 months of 2011, including four months with a 12% increase or more. Now, success is going to have many parents, right? Uh, but uh, I would suggest that, that some of what's going on and some of what's encouraging more travel, more resort travel, more destination travel is the fact that people can find their way to West Michigan a little bit easier. Many of us probably have joked over the years that you know that your friends are really your friends in, when you live in West Michigan because there's no way to just sort of happen on through. You've got to want to come to Michigan. You've got to kind of go out of your way. You don't, you're, not like, you're not on the road between New York and, and uh, California. Uh, we are still in flyover country, as my friends on the coast still refer to us. Uh, and you, you want to get, you want, somebody has to want to come here. And our challenge is how do we, how do we make it attractive to come here? Uh, and, and then how do we make it easy? How do we make that transition easy so that we become a preferred destination, a preferred location? So how does that all work out? Well, this, I'm going to talk about the Regional Air Alliance of West Michigan. This is something that, uh, that I started at the encouragement of a few folks in the community. And I want to uh, thank the organizations. We have uh, numerous organizations uh, who have helped and supported this effort financially uh, to help us allow us to do what we've done. And uh, we, the uh, Herman Miller, the Hayworth organization, the Brooks family, Gentex, and I hope I'm not, and there's four, there's numerous others from the, the Grand Rapids area, uh, but those in particular in this community have been extremely helpful in this effort, realizing that this is in fact a regional effort, and that's why I call it the Regional Air Alliance of West Michigan. 